Hello everybody, it's Catherine. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things fragrance and beauty. So recently I experienced a perfume that I have to tell you guys about. I just ordered a tester of it. I got the 2ml tester and I'm glad that I did because I have become addicted to this scent since I first sprayed it and I am going to have to add it to my collection in the near future and that is by Suspiro Dulce Melodia. If hearing about this fragrance sounds of interest to you, please stick around. If you're unfamiliar with the Suspiro line, Joseph Kemi and Suspiro are all created under the same founder that is uh, Sergio Momo. Suspiro as a fragrance line is kind of cool because it's they're all inspired from the beauty and sophistication of classical music. So kind of cool to quote, celebrating the voluptuousness and splendor of perfumes crafted by a gracious harmony of rare and precious notes. So I think that's pretty cool because Obviously in music, all of the different instruments, all of the different um, notes have to be in harmony with each other to create the music. So j just as in music, in a perfume, all of the notes have to, again, notes, I just put that together. All of the notes in fragrance also have to be in harmony. So I thought that was a really cool uh, connection between the two. I'm pretty new to Suspiro, so if I'm um, informing you incorrectly, please make sure to comment below. Uh, but the way I understand it in the Suspiro line, there are two different collections, the Herba collection and then the Classica collection. So within the Herba collection, to differentiate the two based on the descriptions is rather difficult. Apparently, the Herba collection combined with passion and artistry, pursuing each other and harmonizing into timeless tunes and accents melting onto the skin to form the most sublime harmonies and the most enchanting melodies. Versus the Classica collection, Twirl in the epitome of grace of the Classica collection with the touch of the most sensually olfactory symphonies, delicate and dynamic symphonies that sway between tactile and olfactory seductions to take your breath away. So if you guys out there, if you can differentiate between the two and explain that one to me, that would be fabulous. Thank you. Please comment below. Otherwise, I, I don't know. I don't know how you would um, differentiate the two. I suppose like anything in the Luna collection of Tiziana Terenzi too, like other than the titles, what make it part of the Luna collection as opposed to the other collections. So maybe I'm just being, I'm just tripping on my words here. Dulce Melodia is part of the Classica collection. To quote the description, Dulce is a melody that you can't stop listening to, hence an irresistible combination of luscious fruit and floral notes with a sweet touch. The debut of sparkling mandarin, tasty saffron, and juicy orange hints at something more mysterious. In the dreamy heart where Rose creates a fresh and willing invitation to creamy white notes of jasmine and gardenia, a delicious black currant weaves its way out of the shadows. It induces the sensuality of sandalwood and vanilla into a siren song. All whispers of white musk dance around to create a deep bass, which enable the sweetness to resonate softly throughout the day. A sweet scent from which there is no escape. So the basics of Dulce Melodia, or Dolce Melodia, Dol Dolce, Dolce, anyway. Uh, by Suspiro Perfumes is a fragrance for, it's a unisex fragrance for both women and men. It was, it was launched in 2023. The, the artist behind the fragrance was Christian Provenzano. The top notes of the fragrance include mandarin, orange, and saffron. The heart of the fragrance, rose, jasmine, gardenia, pear, and black currant. The base notes, sandalwood, vanilla, and white musk. Again, it's a very new fragrance. I believe it was just released in June of 2023. So according to Fragratica, very few votes so far. However, they rate it. Longevity is has most votes for moderate. Diage, most votes for strong with moderate a close second. Again, very, very few votes. So uh, jury's still out on that one, I would say. And Fragratica is saying that it leans more female. My personal opinion with this fragrance, yes, I would say it probably does lean a bit more feminine than it does masculine. It does have those floral notes as well as those fruity notes. The fruity notes definitely stand out strongest to me, um, which I think is why a male could easily get away with wearing it. It's not overtly floral in my opinion. I smell much more fruity than I do floral notes in this scent. The very first time that I sprayed this fragrance, was honestly a bit disappointed because 
spraying it right out of the bottle. I just was in love with it. But there was one note in it that just smelled a bit like burnt tar to me. And I had the exact same reaction with, uh, what's it called? Hibiscus Mahajab, I believe it's called. I'll put it right here. Exact same reaction. I absolutely love the fragrance, like love. I would be obsessed with it, but there's one note in it that just smells like this burnt tar, which disables me from being able to wear it. And this wasn't as strong as it was in Hibiscus Mahaja, but it was present and I was just so bummed. But the next day I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get around this. And I will say too, it faded as the day wore on. I had sprayed it, I think on a, a jotter strip. And so as the day went on, that tar smell seemed to dissipate a bit. So I thought I'd, I'd give it a whirl. I'd wear it on my skin. I'll see how it works. And I'm so glad that I did. I sprayed it on my skin as well as my clothes and my hair. And I just smelled, I was enthralled with the scent and um, really fell in love with it. The next day I practically took a bath in it. And I will say it seemed to have faded throughout the day when I wore it that day. But again, you know, now we're saying this is the third day that I've worn this scent in a row and um, maybe my nose was just getting a bit used to it. So again, whatever it was in that initial top note that had that burnt tar smell, in the hibiscus mahajab, it's my wondering if it's the mint, but this doesn't even have mint in it. So I, I don't know, maybe the saffron? Regardless, as I said, that note dissipated and I was able to enjoy the fragrance. Um, it doesn't hinder me from wanting to purchase it. It's definitely on my wish list of uh, fragrances to get in the remotely near future. It is very heavy on the fruity notes. As I said, it, to me, it smells like this tropical uh, fruity cocktail type thing. Like uh, when you have a fruit cocktail in the, the cups, you know, like you get in school. The scent really reminded me a bit of that, the just the tropical, which looking at the notes, I'm not quite sure where I get that aside from the orange because you got mandarin, orange, orange. I guess that's in the tropical fruit cup. That's in a fruit cup. Uh, pear, also in a fruit cup. But then you got the black currant, jasmine, rose, gardenia. And then, like I said, as it dries down and it becomes much more of a, um, you're left with that sweet, but you still have the vanilla, the sandalwood, very creamy, sweet, welcoming uh, fragrance, you know, like a warm hug. It's comforting, it's warm, it's seductive, it's alluring, it's kind of the same as a tropical cocktail. We'll say you have a frozen cocktail and you experience the, the cold, the ice, the melting, the sweetness, the enjoyment of having this delicious drink. And then afterwards you kind of experience the warming sensation of alcohol. That's that's the scent. You start off with that tropical, those fruity notes, and then you're left with the warm subdue of the sandalwood, the vanilla, the musk. It's your warm hug welcoming you home. Again, initially when I experienced this fragrance, I sprayed it on the blotter. The next morning I went downstairs, I sat on my sofa, the blotter was beside me, and I could I I think that's where I fell in love with it because it just smelled so beautiful still. And I just kept just inhaling the, the beautiful aroma. I'll say spraying it on the back of my neck so then it uh, collected in my hair is what I think prolonged the scent for me. I could enjoy it, you know, whenever my hair tossles, I smell it on my hair. Also smelling it on my clothes also I think extended the life of the fragrance. Again, that third day of wearing it and just taking a bath in it practically, I couldn't experience it as much, but I think I just was kind of used to the scent by then. So we'll blame it on that and say that I agree with Frangratica and say the longevity is, I believe, a moderate longevity, uh, moderate to, we'll average it out and say moderate. And then uh, the sillage, I don't think it's going to enter the room before you do. I don't think it's going to stay in the room after you leave, but I think it does have a pretty wide girth while you're in the room. Suspiro, uh, this particular fragrance, Dulce Melodia, is a rather expensive fragrance. I believe it was $330. So at Max Aroma, you can get it for $315, not $330. So again, if you're interested, 
they also offer the samples as well as the decanters and the little uh, leather spray bottles, which are pretty attractive. But however, so Max and Roma, you're able to get the full bottle for 315. Max Roma does have a, a numerous amount of sales that you probably be able to get it for. So definitely check that out if you are interested in this fragrance. I would highly recommend it. I am obsessed with it, as I said, and it is definitely top three wish list for near future. Again, that is Suspiro Dos Melodia. My name's Catherine Cole. Thank you for visiting my channel. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed any of this video. It really helps me out. And um, make sure to hit subscribe if you like videos like this. You can stay informed when I get new videos up. I like to do both makeup and fragrance videos for both men and women. So uh, stay tuned if that is of interest to you. And to end this video, I will end with a quote that is near and dear to myself as that it rings very true personally for me, and that is by Hans Christian Andersen. And those words are, where words fail, music speaks. Love you all, I appreciate you all, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.